Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Back again. We're back. Peter has a sexy wife replacing Lois. <laughs> we now return to Better Call Saul. Hey, Saul, got into a little trouble and I'm gonna need a lawyer. Hey. Oh, this is Saul Goodman. Yeah. Okay, so tell me exactly what happened. I was driving, had a bit to drink, and then I ran into a milk truck. Yeah, yeah. Were you on drugs? E and blow ho. Turn that off. I'm mad at TV. Peter, what's wrong? Family Guy has been around since 1999, and whenever it's time for the Emmys, they don't give us one. I'm sick of it. Well, I'm not making another episode with The Simpsons. What did that get us? I'll tell you what it got us. More ink for The Simpsons. Yeah, Simpsons plays down to competition. Simpsons step into the sewer. Shame on you, Simpsons. Those lucky bastards. Well, this week, we do classy comedy. Emmy comedy. I think that's a great idea. It's about time we made some quality television, like Modern Family, Girls, and Transparent. That's the spirit. Griffins, let's make this our Emmy-winning episode. So get all your pukes and farts out now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, not funny. Modern Family Guy. Ah, I got the answer. Oh, the nanny. No, it's the wife from Modern Family. Oh, she, she's not the nanny. No, she's the wife. So we have the gara. Yeah. She's oh, not. she's the wife. Yeah. Okay, I don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's the wife to the other guy. The old guy. Not, not the. Not the, the gay, gay couple. Guys, no. Yeah. It's been time for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Lois, which is who you are. My wife, Lois. I get my wife. Package for Peter Griffin. Thank you, unknown delivery woman. I get the freaking Emmy. If you touch her ass, I will. <gasps> Amazon. Hi, my uncle Alejandro lives in the Amazon. Do you think he has sent us shoes made from banana leaves? What the Boy, the, uh, the ethnic characters on these Emmy-winning shows aren't exactly rocket scientists, are they? I don't know what you're talking about, Liz Lemon. No, this is something I ordered. For me. I am a woman and always have been. <laughs> I feel the guy is crazy. I've made plans to undergo surgery so my wang don't get in the way of the woman what I am. This is gonna Hi, true. Dios mio. Lois, I'll still be a parent to our children. But now I'll be a trans parent. <laughs> get it? Trans parent? Clever pun, right? Please honor me for my courage. <laughs> I think gender reassignment surgery is very brave, and the fat man should win some kind of award for it. The fat woman. He hasn't chopped it off yet. That doesn't matter. Peter already identifies as a woman. And on karaoke night, I identify as George Michael. That doesn't mean it's true. Brian's just mad because he has to be the lady one. Which makes you the one who's gay in real life. Daddies, I'm standing here delivering my Amazing line with child. more emotion and less of a monotone than the actual Lily on Modern Family. I'm now confident enough to share my truth with the rest of my loved ones, beginning with my son Chris. The big bad. Bazinga father. Yeah. Assuming father is still the appropriate designation. What, what are you doing? Waiting for the laugh to die down. I'm here because I've decided to become the woman I am inside. <laughs> Can you find it in your heart to accept me? Oh, Dad, science has moved so far past binary gender construction. And if being a woman makes you happy, then in the words of Mr. Spock, it's only logical. Wow, I couldn't follow any of that. But look how smart your audience is. <laughs> but does the Big Bang Theory have an, an awards? Awards? I don't remember. I, they may have won awards individually, yeah. Like the the gay guy. Yeah, Shadon. Yeah, he won an award. Louis C.K., is that you? Yeah, I'm a big fan of yours, Peter. Wow, that's great. Because if Louis C.K. likes something, everyone has to. That's right. Well, I'm glad my popularity has cooled off just enough that you were able to get me to do this. Bye, Peter. Boy, he's not afraid to go there, I'm told. This is God's. This is so easy to draw. Yeah. No! I did 
gender roles have been turned upside down. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I is, Am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you oh, expect, gee, Peter? Yes. In a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. <laughs> Ew. I mean, yay. Ew. <laughs> Man or woman, I'm a big fat joke. Man no one takes me seriously. I do, Dad. You've inspired me to nakedly eat this cake in a weird place. Thanks to you, I now believe in me. Wait, this me. is a public bathroom. Emmy. Oh, this is at home. I believe oh. in Emmy. Okay, okay. All right, don't want one that bad. Shit, I just don't hate egg. Peter, I'd like to introduce the surgeon who will perform your procedure today. Dr. Wang Gan. Wow, I can't <laughs> believe all you guys came out to support me. You guys aren't just the best friends I've ever had. You're also the best comedy. <laughs> Great job, everyone. If that don't get us the Emmy, nothing will. Where do you think you're going? Doc, I'm, I'm not actually going through with the operation. I'm going home. We're doing this whether you like it or not. <laughs> we're just going to watch. And that is how I became your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how I became your mother. <laughs> how do you make it? So the Emmy committee watched our submission for best comedy? Uh-huh. All right, thank you. They hated it so much they gave us a negative Emmy. We now owe them an Emmy. <laughs> the Emmys aren't fair. I mean, shows like Nurse Jackie are basically dramas, but they get comedy awards all the time. <gasps> That's it. We'll sneak into the drama category. That's how we'll win the Emmy. With dark, confusing plot twists like on Homeland or Mad Men. Ooh, or Breaking Bad or Mr. Robot Chicken. No, Chris, it's Mr. Robot. Chicken. Mr. Robot. Chicken. Good show, no, no, Chris, you see, Mr. Both Robot them. is a critically acclaimed show. Robot Chicken is something kids used to watch in 2006. It's basically four minutes of nonsense on at one in the morning. I remember breaking... Robot Chicken. Just cartoons. We used to play on Vuzu, if I'm not mistaken. Robot Chicken. Oh. Yeah. I know. Not personal. I know Mr. Robot and Breaking yeah, Bad. Mr. Robot. Injury ads. Chicken. Ah, this is Breaking Bad. <laughs> There's a chart. Oh, yeah. This is definitely Breaking Bad. Please. Why won't you die? Shh. Shh. That's right. I'm your dad. Your gentle suburban dad. Oh, what a twist. Shh. Hey, dad. Sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you no matter how useless you are in a paddle boat. <laughs> Peter, those crows keep getting in. The whole house is falling apart. It's okay, my long-suffering, quietly dissatisfied wife. We'll get everything repaired. How? Skyler. We can't afford it. We have to pay for Chris's doctor bills and meds for our daughter in the CIA. Damn, she's good at her job. How are we ever going to pay all these bills that have been perfectly ripped across the tops of the words past due are visible? I just thank God there's no devastating turn of events going on that I don't know about. You have cancer. How long do I have to live? One week. While I give the rest of your diagnosis, I'm going to gradually talk quieter, as if I'm growing distant, to show how overwhelmed you are by this news. And I... <laughs> oh, man. Stop disrespecting our classics.
Yo, you 5 -0? No, I'm 87. How flattering. Now, give me drugs, scummy drug dealer. You got it, mayor scummy. of our city. I wonder which of us is the bigger criminal. Oh, that's easy. You are. Hey, can you teach me to sell drugs? <laughs> Hold up. Are you wearing a The Wire? No. I need money for sympathetic reasons, and I have no other option than crime. I mean, I could sell stuff on eBay, but shipping. Well, I am pulling a heist at a meth lab. I suppose I could use the help. Great. You won't regret this. When it comes to selling drugs, you and me will be a better team than the old lady's eyeballs on Downton Abbey. I'm looking way over in this direction. And I'm looking way over here. <laughs> that way we can see all the awards flying at us. Here comes one now. Best cutaway. Remember, kill anything that... Yeah, this was. Um, it could have been better. It was too long. Yeah, it was too long. Like the the first batch of jokes was good, but the more I think if they had stayed on, with um, was this Modern Family, yeah. it would have been way better. Would have been way better. But anyway, guys, please give us a like, mm -hmm. subscribe, please watch all the other videos that we have. Do. Once you get to five hundred subscribers, come back for more. But for now, we have to go.